So for this situation, you can see that we start a little ways into the battle, about nine minutes. I have taken my Akazuki onto the west flank of Hotspot in this battle, and I have managed to engage and knock off both DDs, trading pretty much the majority of my health to be able to do that, leaving me with only 4,000 HP to finish the game on. As typically happens when a team loses their destroyers, uh, the remaining cruiser and two battleships are now kiting away from this flank, leaving me in a chasing position with my battleships pushing down through the 3-4 line towards them. So my goal in this situation is to try and get as close as I can to them, pop a smoke and start farming them for as much HP as I can before the game ends, but I also need to make sure that somebody else on my team is going to be able to spot them, because as the only DD on this flank and the way the islands are, I am not going to be able to spot them. So this New Orleans, for whatever reason, decides to turn back, and I see an opportunity to set up kind of an open water smoke ambush for him. Now, the New Orleans is an extremely juicy target for an Akazuki with its insane HE pen. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start shooting at him from open water with no concealment whatsoever. There's a decent enough chance that he might not pay me any attention at all, and the battleships probably aren't either. However, he does start to turn towards me, and I see his turrets turning as well, so I decide now is when I'm going to pop a smoke screen. Now, I want to get this smoke screen a few puffs wide at least while he starts charging me down. I do have some spotting from the battleships coming down the 3-4 line, and uh, I'll be able to sit my smoke screen. However, he will try and charge me and hydro me. I put only one set of torps out there just to kind of keep him in line and maybe get a lucky hit, but I think he's going to come straight on to my smoke screen. So, it's about time to get out of the smoke screen but I need to keep it between me and him. As I exit out the back corner of the smoke screen, I take a quick look at the knives now, realize he's out of my gun range, he will not be able to spot me, so I am clear to keep shooting as long as I keep my smoke screen between him and the New Mexico. So now, because I started at one end of the smoke screen between me and him, I can use the whole width of that smoke screen as I traverse around behind the smoke screen, staying out of his hydro range. I start to get close to the end of that smoke screen between me and him, but the HE DPM from the Akazuki has absolutely whittled this guy down, and it doesn't even get to the end of the smoke screen before he is dead. This is something I like to do even if I'm playing statically with a smoke screen, is I do like to sit behind the smoke screen as long as I'm guaranteed that I'm not going to get spotted by planes or ship off to either side of the smoke screen. As you can see that from the, the New Orleans did, he shot into the smoke screen even though it should have been apparent I'm way behind it. So if you can sit behind your smoke screen, players tend to shoot into the smoke screen and you won't take as much blind fire that way either. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this short informative video and found it helpful. If you'd like to subscribe, you'll be notified anytime I upload a new one like this. And you can also catch me streaming on Twitch, where I try to be fairly analytical about my play. Until next time, catch you later.